Big G35 to start off the video. <laughs> What's going on, Fly Guys? FIZ back at it again with another video. I know it's been a long time. It's probably been about a month since I uploaded a video, but I'm back better than ever. So, from the title, you can see that I'm doing a lot of upgrades to my car. First, even outside, forged carbon. The mirror is forged carbon. And now what you guys all clicked on, everything is forged carbon. So at first I was gonna do like a tutorial of me uh, taking off the steering wheel, swapping that, uh, taking off all the interior trim pieces and everything like that. But I came to the realization that I'm not a tutorial channel. I'm just gonna quickly just put a little clip of me struggling to uh, actually put all this shit off so yeah here's a clip of that first you gotta pull this down right here and uh take take this clip off put everything in here so you don't lose it just put it in here once you take the clip off should i wrap this yeah i'm gonna wrap this car uh forged carbon too yeah that's just gonna look fire right, i'm gonna wrap that forged carbon put that down there uh, once that's off, you gotta mind you, this might not be the best tutorial because uh, I only watched like one video on how to do it, but I think that's all I need. Just pry that open like that. Man, what is this shit stuck on? Oh. Bruh. Okay, yeah. You just gotta use some force. After you pry it open, you're gonna need to... Holy... What the... Yo! Hold on. This shit got... This shit's annoying already. But now you guys are probably wondering where I actually got the vinyl wrap from because no it's not real forged carbon it's a vinyl wrap i got it from metro restyling.com um all you need is probably five by five feet i got a little bit more it costed me about i think sixty dollars because i wanted to do the outside uh trim pieces too but for just the inside all you need to do is go on metro restyling and get gloss avery denison forged carbon they have 3M. You could probably try out 3M, if you, uh, but this one is the Avery version. And what most of you guys probably clicked on the video for is the steering wheel. If you go on eBay, you're going to be paying close to $700 for this steering wheel. I would never. $700 for a steering wheel. I'm not Bill Gates. Uh, I got this out of pocket. It costed me $480. Bucks. But my OEM steering wheel... I sent it back and then they gave me a hundred dollars back. So in total, I paid uh, three hundred and eighty bucks. Uh, I'm, I'm, I would actually leave the link in the description, but they're not paying me, and I'm tired of giving companies free promotion and they don't even give me nothing back. Like my Alpha Rex headlights that you guys seen in the beginning, the GTR style headlights, I got them at least six sales of seven hundred dollars. About six people said that they purchased the Alpha Rex headlights from my from watch after watching my video, and that's six times seven. What is that? Thirty five. So that's about three thousand five hundred dollars that I made them, and I didn't even get not one dollar back. So I'm not gonna actually leave the exact link, but all you got to do is go on Alibaba or AliExpress. They have so many different types of steering wheels. If you want ones with lights and shit, uh, you want ones with um, red stitching, yellow stitching, gray stitching, blue stitching. They got everything. Um, yeah, let me. Oh, oh, yeah. Another thing. You see that crack in the windshield? When you're taking off this steering wheel, make sure you do not strip the airbag bolt. If you strip the airbag bolt, it's going to be a bad day. That broke because of a hammer and i don't even want to talk about it just just be easy do not strip the airbag bolt uh the one that's right hopefully you guys see it you see that little uh piece right here hopefully you can see it but there's a little um cap and then behind the cap there's a screw uh do not strip that bolt it will be the bad day for you another thing i did 
my car came with the orange old uh android looking uh 1997 looking dash where the little lines right here uh orange the screen orange nah i wasn't cutting it, it wasn't cutting in 2020 so i swapped the dash i'm gonna add a picture right now of what it looks like when you take off the dash it's a lot of work but then again it only took me like two hours to do it but it's a lot of work you're gonna see it's i'm gonna just put the picture so yeah it's not easy but it's definitely worth it that's one of my favorite miles i do, did to the interior but if you want to swap your dash make sure you get um a dash that has if you if your car came with adaptive cruise control you have to get a dash that has adaptive cruise control if it didn't you have to get one that didn't that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if yours is automatic or if it's manual, if it's um, a G37 or if it's a Q60, G37 body. It doesn't matter. This, my car is a G37. This is a dad us from a Q40 sedan. I obviously have a coupe. No back doors back there. I always have a coupe and it works perfect. You can just interchange any of the dashes just make sure the adaptive cruise control shit is the same but uh yeah uh my next video this was type of boring video it was just an informative type video my next video is gonna be some lit shit i'm tuning this car i need my car to spit flames because his car he tuned his shit the fire is 335 in uh all of new york he tuned his i'm probably gonna add a clip to the end of it nothing but bare gunshots i'm gonna add a clip at the end but mine i need my shit to shoot gunshots and uh flames and everything so my next video is gonna be me tuning this and um yeah just make sure you like subscribe i'll try and post more videos not every video is gonna be like this where it's just talking and shit but yeah make sure you like subscribe video coming in the next two weeks most likely nothing longer and um let me give you an outside view fire and uh yeah uh watch that clip peace